In this video, I'll go through exam questions that cover the level one criteria, recognize and use positive and negative numbers, which you can find on the massmas.com website under level one. So we've got questions from different exam boards. We'll start with questions that come from non-calculated papers and then with questions that come from the calculator papers. The first one seems to be coming from Edexcel. A music festival sells tickets on its website. There are 120,000 tickets for sale. Festival news, 118,200 tickets sold in the first hour. How many tickets are still for sale after the first hour? You must show your work in. So there are 120,000 tickets for sale. So 120,000. And we've got 118,200 tickets that were sold in the first hour. How many are left? So we've got zero, take away zero within the units column, which gives us zero. Then zero, take away zero, that gives us zero again. We've got to take away two from the zero, which means we've got to borrow. Look in here at the thousands column, We've got a zero there, so that means we can't borrow. For that reason, we're going to have to borrow one from the ten thousands column. So the two becomes one, and this becomes ten. Now, that means we can borrow one here, and that becomes nine, so this becomes ten. So ten now, take away two, gives us eight. Nine, take away eight, gives us one. 1 take away 1 is 0, and 1 take away 1 is 0, so we don't need to put those zeros in front. So the answer is 1,800. Work out negative 18 minus 14. Now you've got to imagine being 18 pounds of a draft and then withdraw in another 14 pounds. So that's going to bring this to negative 32 or you can think of it as temperature. So we have zero here. Let's suppose negative 18 is here and the temperature drops another 14 degrees. So it goes to negative 32. So putting the minus sign in front and adding the 18 and 14. Work out negative 5 plus 3. So now you've got to imagine temperature being negative 5 or minus 5, there is 0, and then it goes up by 3 degrees. So 1, 2, 3 goes to negative 2. Joe works for a charity. Each year the charity gives money to different people. The charity has a total of £8,968 to give to the projects this year. Jo needs to share the total money equally between eight projects. Work out how much money each project will receive. So the charity has £8,968. Pounds. and they share the total money equally between eight projects so we're going to divide 8968 by eight okay so how many eights fit into eight that's exactly one nothing remaining how many eights into nine that's one and we have one remaining because nine take away eight gives us one how many 8s into 16? That is exactly 2, nothing remaining. How many 8s into 8? That's just 
one and then nothing remaining so 1121 pounds Mel has a small transport cafe. She goes to cash and carry to buy things she needs. She sees this special offer on tea bags. Special offer. 1,200 tea bags, 24 pounds per box. Buy one box and get one half price. Calculate half of 24. You could go through the division method with this. Short division or long division. Or you could just write 24 as 20 and 4. Half of 20 is 10. Half of 4 is 2. So that is 12. How much will it cost for two boxes of these tea bags? So the offer said buy one box and get one half price. So one box is £24. The second box will be half price which is 12 as half of 24 is 12. 4 and 2 is 6. 2 and 1 is 3. So that is £36 for two boxes. We've got to work out negative 12 plus 13. So again, there is 0. If we imagine negative 12 being here, you're going to go up 13 steps. So if you go up 12 steps, that's going to bring you to 0. So you just need to go up one more step, and that's going to take you to 1. negative 6 plus 4. So here is 0. Imagine negative 6 being here. You're going to go up 4 steps. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's going to bring you up to negative 2. Might help if you put the numbers in as well. So option B is the correct one. At a rugby match, 19,417 home fans and 2,648 away fans attended. What is the total attendance rounded to the nearest 100? So, 19,417 and 2,000, so comma under the comma, so we've got thousands under the thousands, hundreds under the hundreds, tens under the tens, and units under the units. So we've lined this up correctly. Now we can add 7 and 8, that is 15. So 5 down and the 1 carried over. 1 and 4, that is 5, and the 1 we carried over, that is 6. 4 and 6, that is 10, so 0 down, 1 carried over. 9 and 1, 10, and the 2 is 12. So 2 down, 1 carried over, 1 and 1 is 2. So that is 22,065. We've got to round the answer to the nearest 100. So where is the hundreds column? That's this one here. So after units and the tens, there come the hundreds. That's zero at the moment. To decide whether we keep it as a zero or go up to one, we need to look on the right. Immediately on the right, that's six. So if it's five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we round up. So it becomes a one. So in this case, it does, because that's a 6. The digits before 1 will remain the same as before, so 22,000 
one hundred rather than just twenty two thousand. That would be rounding down, and in this case, we're rounding up. Circle the number that is seven less than negative ten. So here is zero, negative ten. So going down seven steps, it's going to bring us to negative seventeen. Now we move into calculator questions. You can use a calculator for these questions, but you don't always need to use one. It just means that these questions appear in the calculator paper. That's all. When the group get on the plane, the pilot announces that the temperature is 10 degrees Celsius at their destination. It is minus 2 degrees Celsius in the UK. What is the difference in temperature from the UK to their destination? So here is zero, it's minus two in the UK, and it's ten in the destination. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going from minus two to ten. From minus two to zero, that is two degrees. From 0 to 10, that is 10 degrees. So we can do 10 plus 2 to give us 12. 12 degrees Celsius is the difference. One hundred and forty times a number gives us 8,400. So what's that number? If we're multiplying that number by 140 to give us 8,400, now we'll do the inverse. So we'll do 8,400 divided by 140 to give us that missing number. Which is 60. So I'm going to write 60 here. To double check, you can do 60 times 140. Does it give you 8,400? And it does indeed give us 8,400 using a calculator. Circle the number that is 5 more than minus 1. So again, if you don't need to draw number 9, it's absolutely fine. So five more. That's one, two, three, four, five. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. And this is the end of the questions.